guys, today I'm here to talk about something very important for my Saturday bonus video. We're talking chub rub, my friends. Chub rub. I know, I'm probably a little bit late on this. It's the end of summer, but I had to put this out there. I've been meaning to do this video for so long. Call me fat, call me thunder thighs, whatever you want, no matter the weight that I have been at. This is something that has been an issue with me for so long. Basically, it's when your thighs rub together. If you've got thunder thighs like me, when your thighs rub together, especially when it's hot out and it gets chafy. And I know it may be gross. I know it definitely feels really damn uncomfortable. So I have three different methods for you to alleviate this pain and pressure. One that you probably already have in your bathroom that's great for travel. Another that you probably already have in your kitchen. And then a third that you can go out and purchase. Let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I wanna talk about is a little bit of a DIY. I cannot take credit for this. My director at my previous job actually told me about this and she found it on Pinterest. All it is is coconut oil and cornstarch. And the combination of these two things do such a good job. When you put it on, it doesn't feel incredibly greasy. Like you can definitely feel it there, but it doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't like drip down your legs or anything like that. The cornstarch really helps to absorb any of that weirdness and your legs just glide. This feels so weird to talk about, but I, like, I had to tell you guys because I know that somebody out there is gonna be like, yes, Samantha, like you got me. I'm going to leave the kind of like recipe down below and I keep mine in this little jar. I continue to uh, refill it and it's super cheap, super affordable. You probably already have it in your kitchen now and I feel like it lasts a long time on my skin of all of these methods. I feel like this one lasts the longest. So if you want to put this on in the morning, it does a good job lasting throughout the day. And I have traveled with this as well. Keep in mind, if it gets hot, it will melt. But I've traveled with this and I've had no issues with it. And it's definitely my favorite method of the three. Uh, it's going to be a little bit messier. Obviously, you're going to have to kind of put your fingers in there. You do need to create it, but it is very too simple, very two very simple ingredients to combine that you probably already have in your house, so definitely recommend. The second option you probably have in your bathroom. This is a secret deodorant. I really like the secret one for this. I've tried the Tarte one, the Tarte vegan deodorant. That one didn't do as good of a job, but if you don't wanna travel with the coconut oil, if you have a chub rub emergency and you weren't expecting this, or if you wanna buy like a mini deodorant and keep it in your purse to have on the go, this is just super, such a super simple way to go about it. Um, I really I really, really like this option. It doesn't last as long and it isn't as comfortable as the first option, but it's definitely a little bit more convenient and good for on the go. You also don't need to deal with like rubbing it. You can buy like one that's specifically for your chub rub if you want to, um, and it does a great job. The third option, if you're looking to go out and purchase something, the Canadian brand, yay, Skin Fix has a friction guard. So this locks out wetness and irritants that cause chafing and rash. Dermatologists recommended paraben and phthalate free. So this is literally just a spray. Nothing crazy. It is 99% natural and it does a really good job. I think I do prefer the coconut oil to this, but again, this has a convenience factor. You can go out and purchase it. So if you don't feel like getting in your kitchen and becoming a little scientist, this is a good option. I keep this like literally in my front porch and I'll just like spray it down there before I head out. I know this feels very personal to talk about. But like, I mean, I've never seen anybody else do a video on this and it has plagued my life. So this is another great option. So there you have it. Those are my three methods for alleviating chub rub. Of course, you can also throw on some spandex shorts and no, do not tell me to lose any weight, okay? I don't wanna hear it. I'm already trying to lose weight, but it doesn't matter my weight because I am always just plagued with uh, the chub rub because I got a big butt and thunder thighs and that is just my life. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other tips and tricks, be sure to leave them down below. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.